G'day guys, welcome to Best Land for the 2v2 at World of War Tournament in round 2 and we're here to see the epic conclusion between two teams, 5TA and Team North, 5TA Soviets UK, Pringles as Japan and Thompson as Germany. Pringles going on Assault Squad, Thompson going with a regular squad, definitely wanting that MG and Tedessa with the Elite MG call, going to the center I presume. And Koenigstager on the left flank. Most of his guys actually going on the left flank. Going to try to take it at... Um, actually, no one's being sent there for the Axis. So kind of a wasted move on the other side. to this sending a few singles and Pringles also. So that's going to be an area of contention. Pringles moving in fast and strong. Tedessa with a sneaky guy over here. SCS Soldier wants to grenade perhaps, but he's been spotted. And Pringles will definitely try to root him out. And he does destroy him. Wow, that nice grenade knocks himself out. A Vickers VGO in the center position. Thompson relocating his MG. I think that was the target for that VGO. He's actually going to move it somewhere else for some reason. Moving it to defend his flanks. I think Koenigstager is going to start pushing onto the flank of center. And Thompson is guarding it with his MG. Not a... Uh... Ooh, nice cook grenade for Pringles. We'll take out the elite MG. Bam! And that's going to decide. The first engagement. That's pretty much a loss of an entire squad if you count count that at like a regular squad that Elite MG is worth more actually than a regular squad I believe. One of the most expensive MGs in the game. Another ooh, recruit squad for Mr. Pringles. This time he's changed his uh, Type 92 tactics. He's tried that a few times in this tournament or in this matchup. And Tedes is always waiting with his AT Rifleman. Trusty AT Rifleman as he usually does. But no target this time. Tedes out now pushing off the recruits. Recruits, well, not the recruits, the assault squad. And T Thompson will move his MG back in the center to support, since now the flanks are guarded with a few single SMGs and tank crew. Thompson has done that many times in the tournament as well, using the tank crew for his cheapness to just provide some line of sight cover. Very uh, strong attention to detail. Recruits coming in. We'll meet the Sten SMGs and a nice crossfire. Not going to do too well, I don't think. And a few of them have split up to run back. Grenade turn. I think they may take out one, but. Uh, potentially losing the entire recruit squad. Western Point, Tedessa pushing on. We'll try to take it back from Pringles. Pringles only has a few guys, but because Pringles pushed all the way up here, this allowed Pringles to know what's coming. That's one of the advantages of the forward defense. Pringles going to try to slow him down with a few grenades, perhaps. No, just going to use his stem. SMG in direct control, but doesn't take anyone. Even with a launcher, misses the shot. Going to take down at least one. Going to take down another. Reloading, grenade to finish him off. He's going to actually run away and survive without dying. Going to try slowing down one guy, slowing down the entire assault squad. He's doing a great job with delaying, but I think he's going to lose his life. Pringles moving for a flank here. But we're walking to some SMGs and looks like Tedessa will get to the point. But Pringles already has the reinforcements of only a recruit squad though, so we'll struggle versus the assault squad. Center not being capped yet. Interesting, uh, I guess the MGs have kind of uh, prevented that from happening, stopping any sort of charge or walk vaults into the center. Two feel, two guys, because VGO have been picked up by Koenigstager. And the MG42 is still alive. Assault squad moving in from the left. Both of them trying to tussle for infantry. No vehicle buys until now. We've got the BA-64 and also the half-track. Both of them going light vehicle infantry killer. Interesting, interesting to see that as they now, both of them will struggle to get a tank early. AT rifle by from Thompson, we've seen this time and time and again. He's trying to follow him, he can't get a shot off. He's actually just run over the machine gunner. And has dodged a few grenades, AT rifle is tracking him. AT grenade will take him out though. Bam, Thompson takes him out with the support infantry. AT rifle missing its mark. Half track also just got killed on the right side by the 20mm from Mr. Pringles placed over here. So counted quite quite well um, so far the Allied team. But the 5TA, 5TA does have a 5 to 1 lead. At uh, DSA, it's going to stop very shortly as the majority of cap is going to go to Team North. Interesting uh, fact, guys. These uh, In the four games before this, uh, Axis has always won. <laughs> it's totally different to the meta in America and Australia where Axis struggle to win, but these guys aren't, aren't I guess, allied players. They're very good Axis defensive players, and it's definitely showing in the results. So, can't wait to see 
when the top tier of, of the or whoever wins this game plays against the best of the allies. See if they can actually hold versus the allied spam. Pringles spamming those recruits out. He loves those uh, cheap infantry. Kamikaze's on the flank, gonna try sneak, but uh, gonna be hard with 5 to 8. They've got uh, quite a secure flank. Thompson has a sniper in the center. In an interesting position, very safe one, but not many targets this down here. There's a uh, direct controlling it. Connects target trying to mark where his way in with a grenade. And he is sneaking a few guys here. We'll take out this one capper in the center. What? Ah, oh, he sees this one, not this one, but misses that one as well. 20 mil has been relocated a bit to cover the center. It's got a good range to cut off the attack on the any attack on the western, and also cover the center um, quite deep in. So all the way back here, six pounder out from Tedessa. <clears throat> Interesting buy, but still no counter for the 20 millimeters as of yet. Kamikazes revealing themselves. Trying to take out the militiamen providing line of sight. As you can see, the area around Best Land has not much infantry for the Allied forces. They don't seem very strong. There's a few singles in every part of the map, but nothing of power. T60 up from Koenigsteiger. <coughs> Still no hard counter yet. I guess he just wants to use the T60 to decrew the emplacement. At six minutes in, uh, Infantry, Infantry still the king, 6 pounder is on hold fire, probably going to be used as a bait, oh, 20mm nearly got that side shot on that T60, but now it's safe, going to start making it back in the center, struggling to kill this one lone SMG though, but and finally takes him out, but hasn't made much of an impact yet. Background Thompson is going to try pressure the eastern point, AT rifle having a go as well, here comes a Panzer three from Thompson. Economical buy versus the T60. Almost the same price. Gonna duck away in the house. Oh, but gets tracked. He gets tracked already. Six pounder has also been decreased. He's been spotted by Pringles. Maybe a bit too deep. And Pringles may even get a grenade off. Does not. T60 does stop him. But P3 does know where it is. So it's gonna not go further down here. Six pounder will need to relocate and try uh, fight the P3 that way. But it's somehow being spotted quite easily as Pringles is perpetually decrewing that six pounder, not allowing 5TA to to use it against that P3. P3 is now even more confident. He's gonna maybe even try and go for the six pounder while the 20 millimeter decrews it. No priority has the T60, and he does get another nice shot through the building. Hits the engine, and now it's decrewed. Thompson may even have a nice, ooh, just a little door. Gap. There's a little gap here, he can shoot to the door. Never mind, he's gonna actually knock down the roof and the house will collapse. It'll give him an easy shot. Six pounder is finally escaping. Can it escape? Looks like it has. Out of the line of sight of Mr. Pringles. Now the six pounder can relocate to a position where he can potentially take out that Panzer three. Eastern point still strong. A lot of troops on the outside though from the Axis. Not uh, going to venture inwards, just content with consolidating the center point. P3 has taken out the T60, finally, 6 pounder couldn't do its job to protect it, and it's being super safe, still holding back. The guard sniper, Walters, runs away a bit behind the back stone wall. P3 is still in the open, 6 pounder can probably take a shot, let's have a look at this shot. Thompson now running into the center, being pinged now, he knows it's there. And the Panzer G, sorry, that's not a Panzer III, sorry, Panzer G is now wise to the six pounder. Now relocating once again, unfortunately, not having much luck here. But here comes the pressure on Mr. Pringles coming in with Thompson, infesting the housing area. 200 millimeter out, Type 2 is supporting as well. In such a great position, even protected by a stone wall here from this side. And such a forward position by Pringles all the way up here. So he knows what's going to come to flank the 20 millimeter. Quite impressive play at this stage. Looking quite fast. Home guard. Pushing up. Thompson still infesting. A few of a few German troops inside there. And the G 
content with being safe with that six pounder. Six pounder also content with being safe. Just holding back. Holding back, holding the flag. I think they want to just hold these two flags for the meantime. Uh, what do we have here? We've just got uh, more infantry out. Sniper in the back. 20 millimeter still uncounterable. And as I think is the motion snipers just sniped the Thompson's veteran sniper. So nice counter sniping from Koenigsteiger. Ammo truck, interesting buy. Well, no counters yet, but here's the big boy. The 150mm Type 97 mortar. Uh, we'll be able to easily destroy this Olicon and the sniper perhaps in one blow. It's going to move all the way up, perhaps behind this building. Or between the buildings even. Panzer G coming out to play for some reason. Just getting a HG shell off perhaps. Six Pounder is still... has moved to the roadway. I have a shot for this area. I guess the G wanted to counter that, but no. I guess they've been communicating. Pringle says no. Wait for the mortar. Play it safe. Six Pounder's out there somewhere. And that's a cautious play by Team North. And the wise one, most definitely. Tank by. No, that's still the ammo truck. Mortar. Its uh, shells are raining down. Olicon yet to notice. Next shell perhaps may hit it. Mm, it's actually shooting... The AM, AI must be automatically shooting at that one guy. That's still not firing at this Olicon. Perhaps doesn't know where it is. I forgot where it was. It's firing way too ahead. Six Panda coming in closer. Interesting. 5TA haven't bought any tanks for any, any. Yeah, really hasn't bought any medium tanks, to be honest, in this engagement. <coughs> I see, see that in the last game as well, they haven't done that. 5TA coming into Dessa. Gonna try to take the flag back from Pringles. Looks like they have done so. So even the in the midst of such overwhelming firepower, it looks like they can stop the majority of the cap. 20 mil is going hard right now, just firing non stop at. Nothing. As to this, it tries to flank. Oh, Banzai call from Pringles. Perfect buy to to stop that assault on the Western Northern. And still no tank response from 5T8. Wow, did this is grenaded? How did he do that? He must have snuck a guy somewhere and grenaded that 20 millimeter. Wow. Okay. Banzai. One tank put away. Did this with a nice grenade. One Chiha left, and should overwhelm that small ragtag UK squad. Assault squad. Mortar, put it away, the Olicon is expected. Our six pounder would be the target now. No reconnaissance on the field, or, oh what? Six pounder just takes out the, uh, gets, gets taken out by the mortar as well. How did he spot it? I guess it's, uh... We have quite a few infantry in forward positions, I guess. This guy, maybe? Panzer G, all the way back in spawn. Interesting play by, um... Thompson, not sure what he's doing there. But Mr. Pringles now using the paratroopers for their mines will prove, uh... Probably prove to be useful later in the game. 13 minutes in, 21-6. A uh, small lead to Team North, but still very early days. Spetsnaz on the very edge of the map. Going to try to sneak up later. Can the Paras spot him? Doesn't look like they will. This guy might. And he's going to the area where he will perhaps spot him. Ooh. <laughs> Scared now to Dessa going back. I see a 57 on the field. Shock infantry as well. So that's why the Panzer G is going away. 57 is on the field. Wow, Flak has been taken out by the 57 from Koenigsteiger. <coughs> and now just that mortar to deal with. And they potentially can come back. Far shot from Mr. Pringles. Oh, Cheeto! 57 forced to retreat. Now going to assault the southern point. Classic combo, big tanks, big tank infantry killer, 57 now still running, Cheeto still has a good chance, oh it's turning awkwardly, Cheeto 
No. Looks like 57 will get below the hill if it can. Awkwardly getting a bit stuck. It's going on top of the hill? Better watch out there. The center being decrewed by the shock infantry. But here comes a big assault. Thompson with the looks should uh, have no problem taking this. <coughs> It'll be a four cap to one. So Senta is sneaky capping from Tedessa. Well, looks, just got sniped by the 57. Cheeto backing away, 57 made for 50 50 play. Oh, Thompson with the Panther Fast. <laughs> oh, hits the roof. Another guy, no, another guy here though. Let's take a look. Panther Fast again. Misses. <laughs> Cheeto taking a cheeky shot. Now Koenig Stargate is coming in for it. He misses the first shot, hits the roof and hits, unfortunately, something. But uh, it's okay. Worked out well for him. Misses the shot. Oh, he fired too soon. Oh, wow. Damer from Tedessa. Oh, no. Bam grenade. Oh, that was a, almost a perfect execution. They came at the same... Wow. Lucky bastard. Lucky bastard. It, it, the guys are climbing out flaming, but before they flame, they hit the trigger and took out the Cheeto who turned to face the Daimler and that worked out okay for them economically wise but not really because the position the Cheeto is so far in the enemy territory that it's gonna be hard to finish off it might get repaired before before they can get to it it's 95 Cromwell 260 half track nothing think they can actually take out the Cheeto properly and I'm, I dare say this is gonna come back and bite them in the ass Panzer G from Thompson now coming out to play. It is the only tank for the Axis Force at this stage. Backfield. Oh, oh no. Wow, he's got so much money. <laughs> Another Cheeto. All right. Mr. Pringles. Mr. Richman. Oh, there goes the half track in one blow. T60 hiding behind the house. 95 Cromwell. Take a shot at that G. Six pounder. Was unfortunately not in the right position. I think he couldn't aim properly because it's got a weird hill fortunately T60 may be in trouble Panzer G for a shot misses that should escape <coughs> beyond the housing area looks is being repaired for Thompson too so a lot of potential units that can come back later on looks and another Cheeto Axis looks very strong economically wise. It, uh, on the scoreboard, it's fairly even, I guess, because that Cheeto got killed, but it will come back, I'm guessing, very shortly. Uh, nice move here. Kind of like it's going to finish off the books. And just needs to get that Cheeto. Six pounder moving to fight the G. They're lacking a bit of infantry support, only a few riflemen and SMG guarding. Whole squad plus sniper is coming to the flag. This flag is uh, in jeopardy now as it's been Ping Pringles charging with the recruits. Thompson also from the other side. Oh, the 85 is the shock infantry. Let's take a look at this. Where's the other one? The other one's up here. No, that's the 95. Where is the other one? The other one's back here. Maybe we should have given one to... Oh, there, yeah, yeah. Connect Stargo and Tedessa has one each. They're facing with the Cheeto. They need to... I need to collaborate right now. Cheeto. Another the 85 over here. Panzer G's been hit by the 6-pounder. Still being tracked. Oh, wow. The sniper from Thompson takes out the guard sniper of Koenigsteiger. 85 toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Cheeto. Ooh, that's been tracked, hasn't it? Shock infantry hasn't been taken off. They're still stuck there. The other, the other Tedessa's Cheeto hasn't done much. Thompson actually has taken out the six pounder with the with something. Oh, with the infantry, and they're coming to flank. Oh no, no infantry. Thompson with the Panzerfaust from behind the ice maps. Oh, doesn't do it. Oh no, he's got the Panzerfaust. Oh, misses again. Thompson, and his inaccurate Panzerfausting. The dodge, because that. Oh, that's just a normal grenade. Not going to do anything. A quick buy from Tedessa with the dodge coming out. And what is this Tedessa tank? It's coming out to play now. It's going to fight. Oh, it's taken out the Cheeto. 
Nice. Combined 85 shock infantry attack. That was perfect. So there's another one right here. Oh, this is gonna oh, this is annoying the hell out of me right now. That's gonna be finished off right now. T60 moving on to the eastern point. This is extremely fast pace. <coughs> oh, juicy, juicy mow down target. Now going to dodge as well. Oh no, don't walk into it. Oh no, oh no. Dodge is actually a great tank to fight the flak. Let's face it. Oh no, the 85 has been flanked. The Dodge and T60 couldn't do anything to prevent that 85 being flanked. Oh no. Two flax out, plus that Cheeto is nearly repaired. They really need to swing this 85 and take a nice pot side shot there. Oh no, it's back up! I knew it! It's... oh man. So important. I guess it's got... it's so fast paced, there's so much shit going on. There's so many things to deal with, you know, you, 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 you kind of, when you play the game, you kind of think, oh, I'll get that tank later, I'll get it later, and then something happens and you forget for a bit, and then you say, I'll get it later, and then it'll end up being too late. That's what I think, what has happened. They had the plan to take it out, but I think there's other things that's interrupted that plan all the time. And Thompson <laughs> coming in, now with the flak, Cheeto back up. They've got 185 here, but toe-to-toe -to -toe will won't, won't do too well, in my opinion. They need two of them. They can go, they can, they can slug it out with a Cheeto, but Cheeto definitely has the better, better gun. And the Tiger from Thompson's out too. Oh no. Oh no. 95. Takes a shot at some troops. <coughs> Hasn't been able to neutralize uh, the Flax yet though. Definitely be the priority target. 20 mils just mowed down the red guards. Red guards charging straight into it, unfortunately, as well. Sniper picking up a red guard too. Complete waste of a squad right there. Only three red guards left to no, to nothing, basically. And oh, they finally can retreat. 20 mil has uh, managed to survive that last 95 shell. Tedessa on its tail. Now the red guards only have two left. No, three left still. Uh, I didn't count properly first time. So, <coughs> Axis pulling their forces quite back at this stage. 95 takes out the 20 mil. Nice one from Tedessa. 72 to 6. A big lead. Uh, score wise, quite even. Though, I think it's uh, not a great picture of what actually is on the field because that Cheeto, you can pretty much uh, plus the Cheeto to the minus the Cheeto from that score from the 5TA score and they'll be like 250 so it's a pretty considerable lead I think as this one was a freebie a freebie oh Cheetah takes a push oh veteran tiger as well oh no now here comes they they're gonna start ticking up veteran tiger going hunting for that Cromwell 95 there we go no Cromwell 95 gonna play cheeky gonna try to track it perhaps maybe they got a radio up somehow somehow Cheeto for a shot. Cromwell does not want to dare. Maybe take one shot at the Cheeto. There is also a bazooka coming from the red guard. Oh no! He hits an SMG infantry right in front of that. Oh no. Bad luck. Bad luck. I don't think they have any money now to counter it. And there goes the Cromwell 95 turret. Little dodge. <laughs> guess gonna guess it can stop the twenty millimeter vehicles from coming up. Now they don't have. Uh, yeah, they really are gonna struggle to get the center. Target being being used very cautiously. And wow, Thompson's gonna buy mines. He's bought a mine. Uh, <laughs> okay, he's gonna mine the center maybe. Soul score from Kunix Tiger. Red Guard from Kunix Tiger. Soul score from Pringles. Sorry, Power Trooper. Power Troopers? Soul score plus a Power Trooper. <laughs> oh, shot. Ian Grenade Launcher. 
Uh, nice heart tracking though from Tedessa, but I think he lost his uh, wheel from one of those mines. No, nope, he just got stunned. <coughs> so one of those mines actually getting damaged by the heart track. It's actually doing a good job. Just mowed down a lot of guys. Paratrooper as well. Oh, nice grenade. That's That was a nice move. Kingles weaved around and followed the half track's movement without just right clicking. He followed that perfectly. Takes out the half track. <coughs> Ooh, bazooka. Boom! Nice one from Koenig's Tiger. Takes out the Cheeto, but <coughs> back at square one. Chiha on the field plus the veteran Tiger. And no tanks. 95 can take out the Chiha. Mortar still alive or dead? I think the mortar has been moved. <clears throat> or dead somehow. Sorry guys, I missed the death of the mortar. Dodge making a move on the eastern. Gonna try to stop the half track assault from the SNLF. Oh, we got engine in time. Oh, it actually had the wrong shell loaded. Oh no, oh no, it's okay now. But uh, gonna struggle. There's too many guys right now. Explodes the. This guy, what the hell, these guys are crazy. <laughs> survived an explosion. Doing okay, I guess. <laughs> 95 even tries to lob a shell in. Oh, Bazooka. Just takes out a bit of the health. All this red guy with the Pepisher 43 doing okay. But Pringles with a Bazooka shot misses. And can he reload again? No. Wow, the S little left attack failed. <coughs> One more left. Maybe this guy can do work. Oh, he's already half dead. He's going to play a bit sneaky. Oh, he's going to give up. He's going to give up and just do oh, whatever. Go somewhere else. 95 is just taking out the Cromwell. Nice one from Tedessa. Just giving up on that. Recruits. Chiha moving to the center. Ooh, sneaky. <laughs> sneaky to death against the Panthers. Sorry, Spetsnaz all the way there. Went for the Tiger. Mega. Chiha rushing in as well. Teamwork is looking okay. Wow, they've overwhelmed the center with infantry somehow. And looks like they'll cap back the center to get to the point back. Guess there's no time. They just charged everything in there. 96 to 6. Chiha, they're going to have a field day. Not really. 95 has just taken out the Chiha from back over here. But uh, I think there's the, the too many. Plus, that flak is back up. 95 is definitely going to target this one next. Thompson going to move it before the reload happens. <coughs> the timing. Very nice on Thompson. Yep, 95 <laughs> misses it, and now the dodge will get decrewed. Could have taken it out, but wow, that was a quick decrew by that flak. And a free dodge for Thompson. Nom nom nom. And Cheeto possibly, possibly almost repaired too. And uh, you're really not being able to fight tanks. They refuse to fight tanks as allies. I guess they did with the 85, but that's about it. Oh! Cromwell, bam. At least they kept the Cromwell alive. Flak uh, is decrewed. Again, going back in. Pingles managing to hold. And they've got it back. So they need to get this back again. Coming Slager charging in. Can they get it back in time? 97. I don't think so. The Cromwell's even going in because they've just got no time. Oh no. Uh, no, that shot's not going to do it. And I think that is a game 99. Well, we're decapping this though. Tedessa with the Spetsnaz. Saboteur, he's so desperate for the flag. He's got the Saboteur there, but grenaded in the back by Hideki Ota. And they managed to decap it. Decap it. So 98 to 6. It's uh, how long for? Well, this gets back up. Well, they kept the center as well, so okay, not yet. It's not what all is lost. A soul squad coming from Pringles. It's got to be about who markers this well. Flak still not uh, venturing out, scared of the 95. <coughs> and more squads on the outside. <coughs> 
numbers with Pringles. Boom, this is the AEM grenade launcher. Pringles gets in the ditch. Oh no, it takes out a few. And there's the Panzer G, I think uh, repaired one, was it? And uh, wow, grenading very strong right now for Pringles. One guy able to clear off many in the center. 95 uh, trying to take a shot. The flak does well, but the Panzer G is coming for it. Has taken it out, I believe. No, must have. Yep, it's taken out the engine. Flamed. Oh no, that was their saving grace. The only thing holding them in the game. Now they have to work with infantry, but look at that. Two squads coming. Assault squad and recruits versus this shock infantry. This one shock infantry. 98 to 6 trying to delay the end of one 95mm shell would have done wonders right now. And a G clutch by Thompson. Saying no, Anzac's coming in as well. Interesting, they have two special points to spend at 31 minutes in. And I'm not expended it. Oh wow. Panzer G using its HE shells to good effect. Anzac's gonna get mowed down. Oh no. There you go. Okay, there's too many. There's like three squads now, another fourth one coming in. And there's no hope. The only chance is here. Looks like they may get. Can a mine help? Oh, the mine didn't help. Oh no, they're gonna walk into the mines. Oh no, the Anzacs! They're walking into the mines! Oh, oh! They only got hit. One of them got hit with the mines. That could be all they need. They're really holding on strong. 99 to 6. They've decapped it at 99. They've decapped it at 99. Wow, they're trying hard right now. Tedessa coming in with the militia squad. But now, the center's moving to swing to here, and they're not ready. They're not ready for this one. So the pressure is pressure is needed now. They found a weak spot there, but uh, to the expense of the defense, and Thompson's taking advantage of that. And I think now it's a GG. Yep, that's a GG. Flags have been capped. Okay, well done Team North of Progressives. And they will fight uh, the European gentlemen to decide. Uh, yeah, to decide the round three. And uh, 5 go to the lower bracket.